Nick's ready. Nick's ready, G. I'm ready. I'm ready. Juliana, having breakfast. Not ready. Let's go, baby. There's just like so many rods in front of me. <laughs> On this week's adventure, my mate Nick has made the journey from Tauranga up to the Coromandel and we're headed out chasing snapper. The plan is to catch some quality fish for the table to send down to Tauranga for both of our families. We don't really know where to start so we find a likely looking point and start to cast a few soft baits around. Even though the fishing starts out a little bit slowly, there's no need to panic. It's early days and the weather is looking absolutely perfect. So, we find a nice quiet place to park up, have a little bit of lunch, reassess and decide what we're going to do next. This fish hits really hard and puts in a really solid early run. The way that it's swimming right on the surface makes it look a little bit suspicious and Nick's pretty quick to call it for a shark. But the reason that the fish is so close to the surface is we're only fishing in two and a half metres of water. If the fishing's a little bit slow on your boat, I'll let you in on this little magic trick. Wash and dry your hands and carefully unwrap your sandwiches and try to eat. I can guarantee you'll get a really good bite in no time at all. Good size penny, Coro penny. <laughs> Took a whole um, squid wing. Nice yeah. fish. He's absolutely guts it too. Straight down the hatch. Yeah, I got a fish too. <laughs> Let's show, let me see I yours. I got one as well. Uh. <laughs> My one's a regular penny. Not as good as next, but I'm still pretty happy. In the bin. Coro penny. Beautiful. Beautiful. After that crazy little burst of action, there's no surprises that we decided to stick around for a little while. And I'm pretty happy that we did, because things just got better and better. It seemed like there was no shortage of big fish as the hits just kept coming, but there certainly was a few missy turtles in the process. Here it is, beautiful fresh squid bait. I can tell by these big heavy hits that we're into a patch of really solid fish. This is a super exciting little session that's starting to unfold. We're only stopping here for lunch, but it looks like it's going to be lunch and dinner for the next three days before we're getting in. <laughs> oh! Heading into a pretty cool sesh. Martin, here's the piper you caught, buddy. Daddy will try to catch a fish with, I know. Nick and his son slayed the piper the other night. He promised his son he'd catch a big fish on the piper, so we'll see if we can get it done. Yes! Oh. Hey! That's nice. a big! That was nice. nice one! 
see you caught on your piper, buddy. Not a bad little penny. Nice. Fill him up. Let me give one out I recently damaged my Shimano Thunder, so unfortunately today I'm using this very short jigging combo and it's causing me a lot of trouble while trying to manage this much bigger fish. there go a solid probably 12 13 pounds something like that not a beef but not a very good one well, this fish is on must be a must be Hey, straight over the side. Crazy. This is crazy. The combo that Nick's using today is a Shimano Thunder C14 8000 and it's paired with a Shakespeare Ugly Stick. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good set, bro, with the Ugly Stick. If you guys don't have one of these combos, it's recommended you get one for the price of it. Very cheap setup. You can pull fish in just like that, you know, to 45 very easily. Now, Nick knows that my combo is broken and he's really rubbing it in today. My mate Eric just sent me this beautiful little rod. I was fishing this with the wrong rod, so he uh, he spotted that and he sent me this beautiful little sort of Shimano Makaira. It's an awesome little rod. Cheers, Eric. I appreciate it, bro. Look at the. <laughs> Look at the fish I'm releasing with it. Remember to always oh. use the landing net when you're fishing with light trace line. Oh well, I'll get the next one. Oh, oh Nick's hooked into a beast here. Oh, look at his little face. It looks like a really good one. Go on, Nick, pull it in. <laughs> That's the salad sorted. Good work, Nick. It's pretty easy to tell that this fish here is significantly bigger than anything else that we've hooked so far today. This fish is pulling line very, very easily and it's playing some pretty clever games. It swims all the way around the boat and heads for shore towards the rocky fowl. Now, 
Nick has done a fantastic job to keep this big fish out of the foul. It's made some really big runs and he's managed to keep it under control. We're getting very, very close to landing this fish and we've just started to see the leader. Oh, I just lost it. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, that was a donkey. That was a 20, easy. Muddy feet. That's painful. Pretty sure you're hooked up to a fish, bro. <laughs> Look, smashing another one. Smashing another one. Ugh. Get him up, bro. Get the dog. Not as big as that last one, bro. Nick just lost an absolute monster. This one's not as big, but it's still redemption. Get the dog, bro. Yeah, that's a solid fish, bro. Look at that. <laughs> 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 you. Well, I literally that felt like half, if not less than the one I lost before. <laughs> right. Yeah. Running out of room. It's a good sign. Not a bad problem to have. <laughs> Today's mission is a mission to catch some quality table fish for both of our families and it's going very very well. We're both pretty happy to see some top quality fish making it into the bin. Hey. Another yes. Another beautiful fish. It's, I think that's my third really good one for the day. I put lots of panties in the bin but it's my third really nice size one. Beautiful. Happy as with that. That concludes the fishing for day one, but there's always tomorrow, and we're pretty sure there's some even bigger fish out there. So join us again on the next episode to see if we can land one of the donkeys. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to like and subscribe, and check us out on other platforms if you'd like to see more content.